chili. That's what's for dinner. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariella and this is Mariella's This and That. Um, today uh, we're going to make some chili. So let's get started. I have my skillet sitting here getting heated up. Um, we're going to start with browning our hamburger and our and sauteing our onions. And then we will put everything in the pot and get started. I use a pound of hamburger. Um, you can use as much hamburger as you want. Or if you want to make it vegan or vegetarian, just leave the hamburger out. Now I will add some salt to the hamburger while it's cooking. And some pepper. Um, now what I did earlier today, um, because I use dark kidney beans, red kidney beans, dark kidney beans, light kidney beans, red beans, and black beans in my chili. And I didn't have any cans of black beans or red beans so I had to make them from uh, dried beans so I already cooked I uh, soaked my beans overnight and then this morning I got up and put them on to cook so that's and when I cooked my beans I seasoned the water with um, garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, chili powder, and some Italian seasoning, and some turmeric. So, when we get ready to dump these in the pan with everything else, I'm just adding this juice into it also. Um, that way, it'll all have the flavor. And then I'll taste it and see if I need to add more spices to it.
Now I'll add the onions to it. And this is one large onion. If you don't want so much onion, use a smaller onion or dice it smaller. I like I like the taste of onion, so I leave it whole. I dice it pretty large. Okay, I'll bring you guys back as soon as this is done. And we will be ready for our next step. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I went ahead and got most of the grease out of the hamburger and onions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this off of the heat. Put our large soup pot on the stove. And then we're going to add... Our hamburger and onions. And then we have one can of red kidney, uh, dark red kidney beans. And a can of light kidney beans. Well, guess we got three cans of light kidney beans. And then we're going to add our black beans and our red beans. With the juice. Then I had a 28 can of diced tomatoes, but I don't like chunks of tomato in my chili. So I went ahead and blended them up till they were smooth. So now I'm gonna add that into my chili. If you like um, chunks of tomato, go ahead and leave them whole or leave them diced. <coughs> I just am not crazy about chunks of tomato in my chili. So now what I do is I take the empty bean can and I add water to them 
And then I kind of just rinse out my cans. And then I add that in there. The lid was not supposed to come off in the paint. I'm glad I washed my cans before I opened them. I think I'm going to add one more can of water. Then I add three packs to this large pan. I add three packs of beef bouillon. And I use the low sodium. And that is about a tablespoon of beef bouillon I used. Now, since I added all those seasonings to those dry beans, let me taste this and see what I'm adding next. Okay, so it needs more chili powder. To make it taste like chili, it needs more chili powder. And I'm going to say this is probably about one to two tablespoons of chili powder I'm adding. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of cumin. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. About a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to go with a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Give that a stir.
we're going to give this another taste. And I think that's perfect. So now what you want to do is you want to let this come to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it and let it come up to a boil and let it boil for at least an hour. So when this is done boiling after an hour, I'll bring you back. Hi guys, we're back. Um, see, I want you to see the boil on this. Um, I'm going to add some tomato paste because I like my chili thick. And this is too watery, for too runny for me. But if you like soupy chili then you don't have to add the tomato paste but it didn't it wasn't getting thick enough for me so i'm gonna add a six ounce can of tomato paste give that a stir I wish y'all could smell this. It smells amazing. See how that tomato paste is starting to thicken up the broth now? It's not as runny. And I just think it looks so cool with all these different collard beans in there. It's so pretty. Put the lid back on it and let it boil a little bit longer. When it gets done, I will bring you guys back. But I wanted to show you that I was adding the tomato paste to it. So, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Okay, guys, we're back. The chili's done. Um, I turned it off. But see how much thicker putting that tomato paste in there made it it made it thicker than um, it was where it was so runny and it smells amazing I went ahead and dipped me up a bowl so it could cool off a little bit before I tasted it so let's do a taste test Now I put a little bit of cheddar cheese on top of my bowl, but uh, I want y'all to see. See all the different collard beans and there's the cheese that's melted and this stuff is still hot. Now you could, if you want, and you got um, Fritos. You could eat Fritos with it. You can eat anything with it. Cornbread, 
um, Fritos, um, crackers, because I eat crackers with mine a lot of times. Um, but let's give it a try. Mmm, perfect. The beans, the dried beans that I made this morning, they are per cooked perfect. They're not hard. That's really good. Has a little bit of kick, so if you don't want it to be that spicy, don't add that much um, cayenne pepper to it. Well, guys, I want to thank you all for coming and watching my video. And always remember, the recipe will be in the description. Um, to all my cooking shows, that's where you can find the recipe is in the description box. And um, also, remember, don't let anybody steal your sunshine or take your smile away. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.